You're watching NNN. Or new Nintendo news. Or mm -hmm. This is a gaming show where we keep you up to date with the latest, the latest Nintendo related gaming news. <laughs> On today's show. <laughs> LEGO have teamed up with Nintendo once again and they've recently just announced a new collaboration for a new LEGO adult playset. Which Nintendo character is getting the LEGO treatment and is about to get lego fight? It's Donkey Kong! <laughs> LEGO! Yellow bottle of cheese. There are only nine more days until Zelda comes out! Oh my gosh! Yes, all aboard the Zelda hype train. Choo, choo, choo. Microsoft promised to bring Call of Duty to Nintendo consoles once they'd finished their acquisition of Activision Blizzard. But the sales have been blocked in the UK. What does this mean for Call of Duty coming to the Nintendo Switch? It, it means we're probably not going to get it, to be fair. But I'm, I'm going to give you the rundown in a minute. Over the last two years, Nintendo and LEGO have been collaborating like crazy to release a, an amazing line of LEGO sets for children and adults. I mean, you've had the Power Up block, you've had the Bowser set, you've had the LEGO starter kit, you can now get Peach, Luigi. It's, it's a full-on blown LEGO universe that they're making here, but now Nintendo have decided to expand the LEGO set and introduce Donkey Kong! Yeah! <laughs> To be honest, I love playing with these Lego sets. I, I mean, they're so cute. They're so cute, right? I, I, I can't afford them anymore. I can't afford to keep buying Lego sets. Some of them are like £250. Cost of living crisis going on, Lego. What are you doing? It's so fun, though. <laughs> the Lego company announced that they would be releasing four, four Donkey Kong Lego sets, all ranging in price from £8.99 to £4.99. Like I said, there's a cost of living crisis going on Lego. Do you think I've got time to spend my hard-earned wages on four Donkey Kong sets? I kind of do, to be honest. I kind of do. I ain't got no kids. <laughs> I ain't got no bills coming out. The Donkey Kong Lego Treehouse playset can actually be connected with the Lego Mario playset. So you can build like a massive Nintendo shared universe using Lego. And you can even put the Lego Mario on top of the Donkey Kong and ride him. Right, you know that. Donkey Kong's Treehouse comes in at a whopping $57.99 and it's, uh, it includes 555 pieces. It's not too bad actually to be fair. Considering that the Lego Power Up Nintendo block had like something like 2,064 pieces. It's going to be a breeze building this playset. Included in that playset is the Donkey Kong Treehouse, a Lego Donkey Kong figurine and a Cranky Kong figurine. And you can even put Cranky Kong in the little hammock. <laughs> so cute. After that we've got what appears to be the biggest Lego set of the Donkey Kong range and that is Diddy Kong's Minecart Ride and that's launching for a whopping night for 99 Yeah! 100 pounds! That contains a whopping 1,157 pieces and the good thing about that is that you, you can just like create like your own minecart track it's got like adjustable moving platforms and stuff like that I, I mean it looks pretty fantastic to be fair I, I, I don't have the space for any of this Lego I don't have any space for it. After that, you've got Dixie Kong's Jungle Jam, which is just Dixie Kong just, just on the stage with some decks playing music. I mean, I'm probably not going to buy that one, to be fair, because that, that one sounds really dry. Uh, but that comes in at a whopping, well, it's only 174 pieces, and it only costs £20.99, so that's pretty good, right? And then after that, you've got Rampy Divino for £8.99, and it's only, what, 106 pieces. It's just a standalone character. You can put Mario on him and, and ride him and he makes sound effects and stuff like that. So, I mean, if you are broke, just get Rampy the Rhino. But to be fair, does anybody want Rampy the Rhino? No, I don't. Lego have announced that the Donkey Kong Lego playset will be launching on August 1st. So it's coming just in time for summer. Yes. I know what I'll be doing in the summer holidays. <laughs> I'll tell you what else is coming out on August the 1st as well. More Lego! Which Nintendo character is it this time? It's not actually a Nintendo character. It is... Sonic! Ah! Sonic? 
Yes, Nintendo and Sega are duking it out once again. I feel like I'm in the 90s. Nintendo vs Sega all over again. Genesis does! 16-bit arcade graphics. You can't do this on Nintendo! Genesis does! Because on August the 1st, Sega have announced that they would also be releasing their own Lego kit featuring their own mascot, Sonic! Yeah? Uh, it looks alright. Take a look. Introducing the new LEGO Sonic collaboration featuring the iconic blue hedgehog, Sonic. Ooh, hey, make sure to mention how amazing my sets are. Yes, LEGO and Sega have announced that they will be releasing four, four LEGO sets on August the 1st. And they include characters like Amy, Tails, Sonic, everybody's involved, everybody's there. Those four LEGO sets are called Sonic Speed... Oh my god, I can't even say it. Those four LEGO sets are called Sonic Speed Se- I can't say it! Sonic Speed Sphere. 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 Sonic Speed Sphere Challenge. <laughs> Those four LEGO sets are called Sonic Speed Sphere- I can't say it. Sonic Speed Sphere Change Challenge. The LEGO set that looks the most fun to play with though, to me, looks to be Sonic Speed Fair Challenge. Now this one is actually only $24.99 and it's only 292 pieces, I'll buy that. I get it done in no time, box it off in 10 minutes. Uh, but the cool thing about this is that you can put the Sonic figurine in a little ball and then you put the Sonic character on the spring kind of contraption. And when you press the spring, Sonic goes zoom and they go blasting off and they go around the loop the loop like in the games. That's sick. I want it. I want this toy. Yeah. After that, you've got Tails Workshop and Tornado Plane, and that it comes in at thirty-seven ninety-nine, and it's three hundred and seventy-six pieces. After that, and it's starting to get a bit expensive now. You've got Amy's Animal Rescue Island, and that's forty-six ninety-nine, and it's three hundred and eighty-eight pieces. Again, these pieces are very small compared to the Super Mario ones, but I, I, again, they look really, really, really cool. I mean, this one looks pretty boring, to be fair. I won't be buying. I won't be buying this. And then the last one, I want this one. It's Sonic Screen Hill Loop Zone Challenge, and it's $94.99 and it's 802 pieces, but I don't care because it looks sick. It's an entire Sonic level with Dr. Robotnik waiting for you at the end. Like, this, this looks good, to be honest. This Lego thing is getting out of control now because you're making me want to buy them all. I can't afford Mario and Sonic Lego sets in my house, but how sick would that look? Do you know what I mean? In a little cabinet in your house. Or the Sonic Lego range, or the Super Mario Lego range. Oh my god, that looks sick. It would also cost about £5,000, so it's not something that I'll be doing in the near future. But my birthday's in July, if anyone wants to get me a birthday present. Snubbed from the product reveal ad, am I rodent? You'll regret this too, Lego company. Whoa, oh boy, here we go. So August the 1st looks like it's gonna be a battle of the 90s mascots. Oh yes, Super Mario vs Sonic all over again. You can't do this on Nintendo Genesis does. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna sell the most units? It, obviously it's gonna be Mario, but do you know what I mean? It's it's a good time to be alive, especially if you're a LEGO fan. While we're still on the topic of LEGO, it looks like yet another Nintendo character could be getting lego fight. LEGO! LEGO. Yellow, model, yes, it looks like Zelda and Link are coming to the LEGO World Universe. Yeah, it, well, 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 well. Let's slow our rolls. It might be. There's a rumour happening. Earlier on in the year, LEGO started doing takedowns of people's videos on YouTube if they disclose pictures or even discuss this rumoured LEGO Zelda set that was supposed to be coming. T to be honest, bro, can we even talk about it? Because people's videos are literally getting taken down for discussing this. Should we be doing this? I don't think we should. Yes, people found images online of a Zelda LEGO playset featuring the Deku tree. So there was a YouTube user called Ninty Prime and he uploaded photos of this rumoured Lego set and then Lego got in contact and gave him a copyright strike. He got his video taken down off YouTube. So if you look at the copyright strike here, it says that Ninty Prime got penalised for including a confidential unreleased novelty Lego set 
in their video. Dimpty Prime's gone online telling people to take down your videos quick. He's gone on Twitter, he's gone, hey at Zelda Universe and anyone else who covered the great Deku Tree Lego set, take down your videos ASAP. Lego, <laughs> Lego ain't messing around. I mean, building, we really should, should we be covering this? I, I, I think we just need to go to the next story. A couple of weeks ago, Capcom finally gave us a deep dive into Street Fighter VI, the video game. Yes, they showed us the single player content that we've been waiting for. Um, but we've got more Street Fighter news! More Street Fighter news is here! And I'm so excited about it. Hadouken! Capcom recently tweeted on their own Street Fighter Twitter account that a movie is coming. A Street Fighter movie is coming, guys. Legendary Entertainment, the production company behind Detective Pikachu, Dune, Enola Holmes, and a whole host of other movies, have won the right war for the Street Fighter franchise, and they're making a movie. A Street Fighter movie is coming soon. I'm very excited about this. To be fair, we've not had the best luck with the Street Fighter movies in the past. That 1994 live adaptation was not the one. Do you know the one with Jean-Claude Van Damme? And Kylie Minogue as Kami. Something wrong, Colonel. In 2009, we also got Street Fighter The Legend of Chun Li, which also wasn't the one. To be honest, I've not even watched it all. It's really terrible. They played it as like some kind of police drama. It wasn't great, it wasn't great. The only shining example that we have of Street Fighter being adapted into movie form is the Street Fighter 2 anime, hands down one of the best animes of all time, one of the best video game adaptations of all time. I mean, now this is how you do a video game adaptation. The fight between Vega and Chun-Li will go down as one of the best fights in anime history ever. I mean, I think we can all agree on that, right? That was an amazing fight. So I'm hoping to see what Legendary Entertainment can muster up. I mean, don't mash up the franchise, please, more than it already has been. Please, just... Get someone good on it, get some good directors, get some good actors, get some good stunt choreography, get some good fight scenes. Just make sure it's good legendary entertainment. I mean, no other details have been announced apart from that. It's all just a recent deal that's happened recently, so I, I, I'm hoping it doesn't take too long. Please don't take too long. Please don't take too long. Street Fighter the movie, it's happening. In just nine days, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is about to be released. Oh my gosh. What is going to be arguably the biggest game of the year is nearly here. Are you ready? You all ready for this? A lot of video game sites have been playing the game. They've had the hands-on previews. It turns out that the game is going to be everything that we thought it was going to be. This game is going to be something special, oh my gosh. I actually wasn't that excited for the game for the longest time. I mean, yeah, sure, I wanted to play it, but I wasn't hyped, hyped, hyped. But thinking about all the new ways that you can play in, in Hyrule now is just really exciting me. The fusibility, the ultra hand ability, just crafting any kind of weapon, any kind of vehicle, just exploring the sky islands. Like, there's a, there's a lot to this game. There's a lot to this game, and I can't wait to get plunged into this sandbox again and just have fun and just let rip and just experiment and just play around. Like, I'm excited. Although the game comes out in nine days, if you're on the internet, you need to be careful because it looks like the game's actually leaked. The game's leaked early. People are actually playing this game right now. How is this possible? 
Last weekend, people were sharing images online of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition and people have actually been posting clips of the game online, opening segments, puzzles, like... To be honest, I have to keep my eyes closed because I don't want no spoilers. Nintendo are actively chasing and hunting down these leakers. Like, Nintendo are not messing about when it comes to Legend of Zelda leaks, let me tell you. A couple of weeks ago, someone on Discord leaked images of the Special Edition Legend of Zelda art book online, and Nintendo actually sent a subpoena to Discord saying, Look, you need to identify the person who's leaking these pictures. You need to show us who they are, give up the information, where do they live, what's the IP address, L like Nintendo aren't playing. Nintendo literally issued a DMCA subpoena in an attempt to gain the name, the addresses, telephone numbers, email addresses of the users. Like, if, if, if this subpoena goes through the court, this court are going to have to give up all this information. Whoever leaked this art book needs to be scared because a few weeks ago, a GameStop employee literally just went into his computers and he saw that there was a special edition Legend of Zelda console coming. I mean, we all know it exists now, but back when we didn't know it was coming, we didn't know any release dates, we didn't know if it was true or not, like, this guy posted a picture online just saying, oh look, there's a new Legend of Zelda console coming out. <laughs> Nintendo got the man sacked. Nintendo phoned GameStop and said, look, one of your employees have disclosed secret, sensitive, top secret information. We want him sacked. And the man got sacked from his job. The man got sacked from his job because of Nintendo. Listen, if you're out there leaking Zelda stuff, you just, just know you better be careful. Because whether you end up getting sacked from your job, paying hefty fines of up to £100,000 or just getting banned from the internet. Nintendo are not playing about. J just wait. Just wait. We've got nine days. Just wait. You are our final hope. And finally, Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard has been blocked in the UK. The sale might not go ahead. That also means that we won't get Call of Duty on the Switch. And Microsoft promised us that as soon as they snapped up Activision Blizzard, that they'd be doling out Call of Duty in every single console possible. Did this, Nintendo have already signed a 10 year agreement for it. Looks like it might be null and void now. What happened? So reading an article on Nintendo Life, it says, it says Microsoft's planned acquisition of publisher Activision Blizzard has been officially blocked in the UK by the Competition and Markets Authority. The $68.7 billion acquisition was blocked on grounds that it would alter the future of the fast growing cloud gaming market, leading to reduced innovation and less choice for UK gamers over the years to come. Cloud gaming is in its infant stages yet. It doesn't really run properly in the UK. Nobody's got good internet. There's no good internet infrastructure in the UK. Nobody can play cloud gaming effectively. But basically, the CMA are saying that it would be unfair for Microsoft to acquire Activision Blizzard and have such a dominant foothold in the cloud gaming market space. Now, the CMA are saying that if Microsoft also have access to all these Activision Blizzard franchises, then that would absolutely dominate the cloud gaming space and it would lead to less innovation and no competition would be able to take on Microsoft with cloud gaming eventually in the future becomes a thing. The CMA said the cloud allows UK gamers to avoid buying expensive gaming consoles and PCs and gives them much more flexibility and choice as to how they play. Allowing Microsoft to take such a strong position in the cloud gaming market just as it begins to grow rapidly would risk undermining the innovation that is crucial to development of these opportunities. Do you know what? I'm not even bothered about this. But back in February, the president and the vice chair of Microsoft went online and tweeted and said that as soon as Microsoft purchased Activision Blizzard, they will be committed to bringing Call of Duty onto Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm not a massive Call of Duty player, but the Nintendo Switch deserves to have some kind of Call of Duty game on the system. What are we on? 122 million units sold. What, the third best-selling console of all time? And it hasn't got Call of Duty on it. 
Microsoft has said that they signed a 10 year deal and give it to Nintendo, but it looks like if Microsoft don't purchase Activision Blizzard, that deal's gone out the window. I'm fuming to be honest. I'm fuming. I, I, want, I, I want the game on Nintendo Switch. Sony have been concerned that if Call of Duty did come to other consoles once Microsoft had purchased it and owned Activision Blizzard, that Microsoft would do everything in their power to make sure that the games don't run on the same level as the Microsoft consoles. Sony are worried that the games won't launch day and day, that Microsoft would keep all the exclusive content to themselves. Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know whether that's true, but... All I'm bothered about is the Nintendo Switch version. But supposedly, the CMA is saying that the Nintendo Switch can't even run Call of Duty. So when Microsoft's they're giving it Larry Large saying, yeah, 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 we're putting the Call of Duty on Nintendo consoles. We're making sure that they run up to scratch with all the other versions. CMA is saying that they're lying. Here's what they had to say. So the CMA said that Nintendo does not currently offer Call of Duty and we have seen no evidence to suggest that its console would be technically capable of running a version of Call of Duty that is similar to those in Xbox and PlayStation in terms of quality of gameplay and content. So, I don't know what's going on. Am Microsoft going to be able to buy Activision Blizzard? Is Call of Duty coming to Nintendo consoles? I, I'm not actually sure. I don't know whether it's going to happen. Activision Blizzard has criticised the CMA's decision to block the acquisition in the UK and Microsoft are currently trying to appeal the decision. So, will Call of Duty ever end up on Nintendo consoles? I don't know. We were so close, but now we're all so far. But I tell you what, if Microsoft haven't sorted out this deal by June or July, I forget the date, they actually are going to owe Activision Blizzard $3 billion. For no reason! You've got to spend $3 billion for no reason, so it's in your best interest to sort it out, Microsoft. I tell you, the clock's ticking. The clock's ticking. You need to get your lawyers on it now. Sort it out. So yes, that's all we have time for today. Uh, thank you for watching another episode of NNN. We will be back with another episode before The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom comes out because let me tell you, once that game comes out, you ain't gonna see me. I am going to lock myself in a room and play Tears of the Kingdom non-stop. I'm not even going to work. I get sacked to me. I'm prepared to get sacked because I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom. It's a Nintendo Switch, oh my god, I can just take it to work. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, 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 anyway. Thanks for watching the show, and we will see you soon. Bye!